What's up and welcome back into the Baseball Nation podcast, episode 5. Today, we're looking at a lot of things because it's our last episode before opening day. We'll start it off talking about Reese Hoskins tearing his ACL, running back for a pop-up that Austin Meadows hit on the Tigers-Phillies game. I mean, it sucks for Reese. He's out for the year after a really good playoff run. Yeah, he had one of the best playoff swings we've ever seen. Tough scene for him. It's not a good look. Hopefully he can be back for next year. Yeah, next up we're looking at MLB The Show 23, release date on Tuesday. Could it finally be fixed? Could the game finally not die in July? We'll see. There's new legends. Derek Jeter, he's supposed to revive the game. (laughs) And the big steroid boppers, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa, are in the game this year. Who knows? We'll see if it's a good game. We might stream it once or twice, but it's definitely a fun game, and we're going to have to try it out on Tuesday. going to be exciting to use it. That comes out March 28th, so a fun week in sports for baseball. We've got this March 28th and then opening day March 30th. We're going to go ahead and finish off our spring training talk finally for the last time until this time next year, and Mikhail knows some stat leaders. Yeah. Matt Olson led spring training in home runs with seven. Sam Hilliard hit over 400 this spring for the Braves. Corey Seager had 22 base knocks this spring. Really good for him. Uh, Eduardo Rodriguez with a zero ERA for the Tigers. Didn't qualify on innings because Josiah Gray led with a .55 ERA for the Nationals. Let's see if any of these guys have a breakout year, including Cole who's already kind of broken out, to be honest, as he led it with in strikeouts over spring training. And that's our weekly talk for this week. As we're ready for spring training to be over and for the season to start this week, you will see a lot more of a shift between recent events, between our future talk, which we're about to get into, and we're going to be doing over-under win totals for every team. We're going to kick it off in the AL East with the Yankees. They are projected 94.5 wins. Give me the over. 94.5 feels light for a team like the Yankees. They picked up Rodon. Otherwise, it's the same team as last year. They continue with Judge. Let me hammer the over. That's going to have to be my choice. What Definitely about taking the over there. Judge, Rodon. This team's just stacked. Hopefully, kids like Bader can start picking it up for them. Next up, we're going to go to Toronto. 90 and a half wins. Give me my second over of the AL East. This team's really good. They've got Vladdy. They've got Bo. And maybe if Burrios has a good year this year, they might be set for it to hit that over. I'm taking another over here. They've got a young infield. And we're hoping, as Vladdy said, last year was a movie. Hopefully this year can be the real deal. I can't wait to see if they can all stay healthy. You go ahead and go first on the Tampa Bay 89 and a half. Tampa Bay is a team that always gets it done every year, and this year they're not going to be doing the same. I'm taking the under. Oh, come on. 89 and a half. Give me the over. This is a Tampa Bay franchise that does it right. Give me the over on 89 and a half wins. I like the Rays. Next up, we got the Boston Red Sox. I'm taking the under here. This team is poverty. They've got nobody. They lost all their supreme talent, all their homegrown talent. They signed Kenley. That's not enough to get it done. Put it perfectly, Jabs. It's Rafael Devers, and the rest are nobodies. Next up, we're going to head to the young up-and-coming team in this division, the Baltimore Orioles at 76 and a half. They're going way over. I got them winning 82, 83. All the young kids in their organization, some key ones, Gunnar Henderson, Adley Rutschman. Then they've got the dudes on the bump. I can't wait to see what they do this year. Going to be a fun team to look out for. Almost made the playoffs last year, some people forget. Yeah, Jab said it best, and honestly, they won a lot. They won seven more games than 76 last year. I don't think they, they're going to get worse with the additions of Grayson Rodriguez and Gunnar Henderson this year to hammer the over. Get Let's look at the AL Central now, my division, and we're going to start it off with the Cleveland Guardians at 86 and a half wins. Cleveland's going to be taking the over here. I've got them winning 88. 
This division's not a stacked division, so 88's going to be able to get it done. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I think they might even win more than that. But the one thing is every team plays every team this year, so they're going to get less games against the terrible teams like the Royals, and they're going to have to play other teams more so from the NL and stuff. So I'll still take the over, but it's a soft over. And next up, we'll look at Minnesota, 84 and a half wins. Yeah, I'm definitely taking the over here. They got Correa. They finally got him back after he was on multiple teams this offseason. They got the pitching help they needed, and Pablo Lopez did lose Luis Arias, but I think that they could be a very solid team this year. Give me the under. The Twins suck. <laughs> They're horrible. Get out Some of here. Way to put it. Get out of here. 83 and a half wins for the Chicago White Sox. Let's see what Jab says. I'm going to take the under by one. I think they're going to win 83. They've got the names, but they can't stay healthy. So that's what I have a feeling for the White Sox. Hammer the under. The White Sox are terrible, too. The AL Central's horrible. The White Sox are terrible. Get out of here. If you couldn't convert with it last year, you're not going to convert with it this year. The White Sox suck. Let's go to the Tigers at 68 and a half wins. Hammer the over. Hammer the over. The Tigers are nuts. The Tigers are the best team in baseball. I wouldn't I say mean, the Tigers be are Be realistic, nuts. but we're making a wild card push this year. Don't sleep on it. Everything that went wrong could happen last year, and I think this year's the year. I've got the games. Tigers going over 90 games. I've got the Tigers winning. Confirm, Jazz has the Tigers going over 90 games. No, you said no. <laughs> I've got the Tigers winning in between 75 and 85 games. So they will be taking the over, but not, not 90 games. I think they could get second or first in this division as this division just abysmal. And, hey, that might be a wild card spot. We don't know. Jabs just made the boldest pick in Detroit Tigers history, <laughs> especially as a non – Tigers fan. And next up, we're going to look at the Royals. 68 and a half, just like the Tigers. Hammer the under. They suck. Over. <laughs> That's absurd. The Royals are terrible. MJ Melendez, Bobby Witt, Brady MJ, Singer. MJ Melendez is the worst blocker in Major League Baseball. MJ Maybe Melendez. Bobby Witt hits 220 this year. Be realistic. All right, we'll come back here in October, and I'll be smiling. The Tigers are mowing down these hitters. All right, NL West, we got the Dodgers starting it off 96 and a half. I'm hammering the under. I think they're going to win 94. They lost Gavin Lux. They lost some key contributors. Trey Turner is a name. Max Scherzer, they you lost could, in the last couple of years. You could say they technically lost Trevor Bauer. That is true. To a team in Japan. <laughs> Next, Next team, up. Padres, way over, 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 over. 93 and a half is not even close to this team's full potential. I got them winning 102 games. This is a stacked team that, I kid you not, will pick up one of the best players in the MLB. One of my least favorite players in the MLB, but they're picking him up just a few months into the season. A team that already has Machado, Soto. This team's insane. Bogarts. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot. This team's nuts. They're too good. They're not going to be stopped. And I think they win the NL West, and the Dodgers are more than two games back at the end of the season. Couldn't agree more. Now we got the Giants, the team of two years ago, and this team will be a no-name team this year. Their projection is 81.5, and, and I've got them winning 82. Giving them the over here, but we'll see about that. Hard under the Giants' reek. <laughs> the Giants are terrible. Logan Webb, a, a few other okay players. Give me the under. The Giants suck. Uh, next up, we're going to look at the Diamondbacks, 74 and a half. Over, baby. Corbin Carroll, fastest player in the MLB, now plays for the Arizona Diamondbacks. You got to hit the over. I think this team might play over 500 ball. And I don't think that's something the Giants are doing. Yep, giving them the over. Definitely could see them winning third place, and they could – Make a run for the Dodgers if they put it all together. Next up, the stinky Rockies. The Rockies are terrible. Let's be honest. Give me a 58-win team. Give me the under. 65 and a half is the line, and I'm going to be taking the under. I think they'll win like 62-61. Agreed. Let's go back to the AL real quick. We're staying in the West, AL West. 
Astros, 97 and a half wins over, baby. I mean, that, talk about a squad. Talk about a bunch of ball players. I got them winning at least 100. Yeah, same. I mean, this team's insane. Next up, we're going to look at the Mariners, the sleeper team in that division. Up, up, up is right, Chad. 86 and a half is the line. They might win 100. Julio Rodriguez, don't forget about him. People, don't forget about him. I don't think you can. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I just saw someone put Julio Rodriguez as the seventh best player in baseball. That's that's somebody? ESPN. Cool it. <laughs> that's a bit of a reach. <laughs> but Buddy's been in the league for one year, and we're already putting him up, up. So next up, we're going to look at the Rangers. 81 and a half wins. Over. I like that line. That's a perfect line. I can see them winning like 83, 84. Yeah, I mean, that is a really good line. DeGrom, talk about a really good pitching staff now. They're a lot like the Padres. They spent a lot. We're going to get to another team that did that in the NL East in just a second. Next up, we've already seen the memes. The WBC team with Trout was insane. The WBC team with Otani was insane. But guess what? The MLB team with both of them sucked. <laughs> they're horrible. Let's be honest. The Angels are not very good. I don't. I don't think they're the. They can ever put together the pieces. How they haven't fired their GM is beyond me. It's terrible. Sell the team. Some people call it the best player in the world, the second best player in the world, and the rest are nobodies. Uh, even Rendon, they signed him to a big contract. First off, you should have signed a pitcher, not Anthony Rendon. And second off, he's always hurt it, so it doesn't matter. Next up. The Oakland A's, by the way, I'm taking the over for the Angels. I think they'll win 83. The Oakland A's, their line, 59 and a half. They might be the worst team in the MLB. They are worse than many AAA farm systems. One I'm taking the, the under. One of the worst teams I've ever seen assembled. Name one Hammered player on under. the team. Uh, James Caprellian, Paul Blackburn. <laughs> Obviously, they have notable names, but they're not very good. Montas is gone. Yeah, talk about a team that is just – Getting a free all-star. No one's earning it. Oh, what a poor team. They reek. They're going to win 30 games. <laughs> now, we're, now we're going to the best division in baseball, the NL East. I don't have a team finishing under 60 wins. Besides one team, I have every other team finishing above 80 wins. So let's go ahead and get down to it. My team, the Atlanta Braves. Way over 96 and a half. I've got them winning 98, 99, maybe 100 again. Talk about a squad. Next up, the Mets. I've got them winning 102. People think they're going to collapse now with uh, Diaz gone. And Nemo. You, you forget that this team does it. This team's got everything. Boo. Kodai Senghei. Boo. Kodai. Boo. <laughs> the Mets are reek. No. <laughs> they're terrible. Let's be honest. The, the Mets, Mets aren't are that good. Terrible. The Braves are better than the Mets. The Braves are better than the Mets, but the Mets will beat 94 and a half wins. Next up, the team I think that's better than the Mets, even without Reese Hoskins and Harper at the beginning of the season, the Fightin' Phils. Trey. They have Trey. Trey Turner, baby. Put him on the Washington Monument, please. Trey Turner, absolute stud. Cool it. <laughs> Not a Washington Monument type of player. And you want to talk about a team that has one Washington Monument type of player? And the rest are nobodies. They're somebodies. One of them somehow on the cover of MLB The Show 23. The 75 and a half win Marlins. Give me the over because I like the team. I like El Contra. I think every time he steps on the mound, he gives you an unbelievable chance to win. But the whole team is a bunch of contact hitting second baseman. Arias, Segura. Yeah, I mean, talk Chaz Jizz. <laughs> God, he, he reeks. I think maybe the most overrated player in the MLB. He's going out to center field. I actually think he's a pretty solid player. That's a little bit of an overreaction. But he's going to be out, out in center field this year. Talk about a confident player. Says he's going to be one of the best defensive center fielders. Maybe calm down a little. But okay. <laughs> cool that it. works with – yeah, that cool it. <laughs> but that works with me. Uh, I'll hit a slide over. I'm for the hitting Miami a slide Rams. over as well. I think they'll win 80, but nothing more. Next up, we got <laughs> – the Washington Nationals. Another team that reeks. How their line is the same as Oakland is beyond me, though. They have Joey Manessas. They have C.J. Abrams. This team doesn't isn't horrible. They Joe, have Josiah Joe. Gray. Yeah. <laughs> Best ERA in spring training. 
that means a lot. <laughs> that means so unbelievably People much. People forget that when they lost Turner and Scherzer, that they got a lot back for him. Kiebert. Yeah. Stud. They, <laughs> they got, got a lot they back got, for Soto, too. Yeah. C.J. Abrams. People forget. James Wood is a stud. So give me the slight over. They might win 62 games. Next up, we got one of the most irrelevant divisions, the NL Central. Nobody likes these teams. They're just filler teams. We're going to start it off. <laughs> the Cardinals have an 88-and-a-half win line. I'm taking the over. They'll probably win 92, but we don't care about the Cardinals. They'll get first round. I mean, yeah, come on. Let's be honest. Look at their pitching. It reeks. <laughs> Mikhail's I mean, new favorite word, it reeks. Put it in I the mean, top left. I mean, come on. St. Louis, they're not very good, let's be honest. Uh, also, let's look at the Milwaukee Brewers, a, a team that pitches and then has Christian Yelich, who's been irrelevant for going on about four years now, folks. You Some, didn't know that. Something to remind you of. It's been four years since him and Cody Bellinger were really very good. So let's go ahead and look at their 86 and a half. Give me the over because Corbin Burns is him. I'm giving them the over. I think they'll win 87. Yeah, I'm petty. They suck. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> They can only pitch. Next up, we got the Dansby Swansons and the Cody Bellingers, the Chicago Cubs, two teams that have had players that have been good in recent years, and I think they'll both suck this year. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're anything special. I don't think Marcus Stroman, Dansby Swanson, Cody Bellinger – and some old men are going to get you to the 77 win mark. So give me the under. Take Cubs the fans, over. Cubs fans hate me if you want. I'm taking the over. They'll win 78. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Okay, Jabs. Now uh, we got the Bumpkins. The Pirates, 67 and a half. Is go there. Pirates, baby. <laughs> give me the over. I'm give taking me, the over. Give me a 70 wins. Win team. 73 is a good one. All right. O'Neal Cruz. But not least. Actually, second, third to least, somewhere around there. They suck. Cincinnati. 65 and a half wins. Give me the under. They Kyle reek. Farmer, gone. Joey Votto, still there. Sucks. One of my favorite <laughs> players, Tyler Stevenson, is on the squad. Wonder why. <laughs> I mean, he did respond to a DM. But, uh, yeah, I like the Reds. I think they're okay, but they're not very good, let's be honest. So I'll give the under on 65 and a half. Yep, that rounds up our divisions. We can't wait for MLB to start up. Make sure you subscribe.